hindsight 2020, I could have easily been shot. In the chaos of the Dallas protest shooting, Dallas police named a rifle toting Mark Hughes a shooting suspect, not a person of interest, a suspect. As news had reported, social media users helped clear Mark Hughes' name, but it could have been much, much worse. Texas is an open carry state, and licensed gun owners can carry their firearms in plain sight. So I wanted to explore this question. Do I, as a black guy, have the same protection under the Second Amendment? Because it doesn't seem like I do, and here's why. In the late 60s, then California Governor Ronald Reagan enacted the Mulford Act, which restricted the public from openly carrying firearms. It was in direct response to the Black Panthers exercising their Second Amendment rights. Anyone who would approve of this kind of demonstration must be out of their mind. In 2012, Marissa Alexander was convicted of an assault charge from a 2010 incident in which she fired a warning shot with a reportedly licensed gun at her abusive husband. And more recently, in a graphic cell phone video, Philando Castile's girlfriend says he told the officer he had a licensed weapon and was reaching for his ID when he was shot and killed. My boyfriend carries all his information in a thick wallet in his right side back pocket. Listen. As he's reaching for his back pocket wallet, he lets the officer know, officer, I have a firearm on me. I begin to yell, but he's licensed to carry. Then there's the perception of a black person carrying a gun. Tamir Rice, John Crawford, and Robert Dentman were all shot and killed by police because they were seen with objects that looked like real firearms. And even with databases like The Counted from The Guardian and Fatal Force from The Washington Post, it's still difficult to pin down exactly how dangerous or how deadly it is to be a black person carrying a gun or anything that looks like one.